All right, so I'm about to hit you with a very realistic and like blunt, painfully truth bomb right now. It's like the very boring truth of what it's like to be uh, an environmental engineer. And I don't want you to come into this field thinking like it's the best job in the world. I don't want to sugarcoat anything. So I'm trying to give you a very realistic expectation of what it's like going into this field. That way you don't like regret what you decided on right now while you're still young or deciding what career field to go into. I want you guys to know like the blunt truth before you go into this field. So with that being said, here's what you guys probably think what it's like to become an environmental engineer. So right now you are like probably googling what it's like and like you see all these pictures of all these really fascinating and really innovative environmentally friendly like technology. You might see some like really fancy buildings that have all these plants and all these like solar panels and all that stuff. You basically see like a utopia like city that's like engineered and designed by like environmental engineers who are very set onto changing this world and you know you have the same mindset where you want to revolutionize the world create a better world and all that stuff and you know that's great and everything I love the fact that you have that but realistically that's not what you're going to be doing like I know that's the goal and that's the vision and that's what people want in the future but that's not what you're going to be doing that's not what like big corporations are sort of aiming for to do realistically you're just going to be doing like paperwork or like permitting or just doing all these processing paperwork stuff yeah you might have some designs and everything but that big futuristic utopian vision that they have that's not realistic and I know that's like super messed up to say because that is like the perfect future that's what you want that's what we should have so that's the hard blunt painful truth that utopia city that you see on Google that's not gonna happen within like the next few years or the next few decades if anything I hope it does if anything I hope that this video proves me wrong but more than likely it will not happen still I want you to come in with that same mindset though because you want and envision that you're gonna set your goals to make it happen. So anyway, you have that mindset, you would come into your job, and then you're gonna wanna change the world. But then, it turns out that your job does not really let you do that. So the only way you can really sort of get what you want to experiment and play with these green technology and like see how it changes the world, the only way you can actually do that is if you were to go to college, go to university, whether it be like undergrad or graduate school, and you work with a professor in his research project. So I don't know about other countries, but I know here in the United States, like big top universities, they have professors and are funded by like grants to work on some sort of research project. In his project, he's gonna have some sort of crazy idea saying, okay, what if I retrofit this entire building or how can I make the solar panel even better? So they're gonna have like materials, designs and all that stuff in their lab. They're gonna be like coding this sort of plate and then saying, okay, we added gold to this plate. Uh, let's see how much better it is at like uh, you know storing like solar energy. So in that example, that is the only time you get to play and experiment with all these materials and designs for like greener technology. At least based off of my own experience, that's what I've noticed. So you might see some articles saying that oh this professor at this one university he was able to get like 70% more efficient than today's standard by this you know his ex own experiment. That's basically what you're gonna be doing in terms of like if you want to fulfill your desire to revolutionize the world and make the world a greener place, that's literally the only way you get to sort of experiment and try that. So in the end, you're not going to be like putting up the solar panels on like a building or anything. You're probably going to be like in a lab as a student worker and he's just going to say, oh, can you like spray this sort of material with this extra material just to see if it's better. And then they're going to test that and then at the end of the day, he'll like publish a paper and then you'll contribute to that. And so based off my own experience, that controlled school setting is the only time you get to play with green technology. Everything else, basically once you get out of school, like right now I thought I'd be doing the same thing or maybe I'd be experimenting and like changing the world, but it's mostly just paperwork, you know, slapping companies on the wrist saying, you know, don't throw that away. <laughs> you know, it's like not like so exciting as it was in school. There might be some other jobs that will let you do that, but like I've rarely seen that many, if any, allow people to do that. So I'm just saying all this because I want to be like super transparent in this field. I don't want you to come to this field and then be disappointed, realizing that like, you know, you wasted all your time trying to do this because you had a vision, but then like it just got ruined because that's how the job is or just that's what the company tells you to do. I don't want you to be like disappointed with your life choices because some higher up company told you to do this and then like it didn't meet your expectations or it didn't like meet with your goal alignments. Straight up, like this topic, it sucks. Like it sucks to have to tell you and be like, hey, here's the disappointing truth about it. Uh, like your dreams, like they're not realistic. 
you know, scrap all that, it doesn't matter. Trust me, I felt the same way. I felt so disappointed realizing that like all these visions, all these cool things you said about it during school, like none of that is actually coming true. Yeah, that's disappointing reality. So at the end of the day, yeah, companies, they won't let that utopia vision come true, but you can. Like your vision, your dream goal, you can. There are some companies out there that will might let you do that, but again, very rarely have I seen any in the US. Okay, that's enough disappointment for one video. I'll see you in the next one.